my tribe this is just venus with life force energy thank you so much for joining me today i wanted to share with you how each and every one of you are the artist of your life the life is your canvas it's your opportunity where you can create manifest and live in the roles that you desire but what happens when we start feeling like self-sabotage comes in or we start listening to the people that were whispering in our ear telling us how we're not good enough or that doesn't sound like a good idea oh that's not gonna work blah 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 yeah I've heard it and sometimes it got the best of me and it prevented me from doing what I wanted to do because I figured these people that I had such love and high esteem for they're not gonna steer me wrong and a lot of the times it's not because it's malicious it's has a lot to do with their own life experiences. So if they haven't had an opportunity to dream up and follow through with whatever it is, the project, the whatever changes you want to create, and maybe they didn't have that fire within them, but you can and you do. So what I was going to share with you is what I was downloaded this week, I've been granted all kinds of cool downloads, so I'm going to share with each and every one of you. Listen, my friends, I want you to practice an exercise I'm going to give to you. But you must be able to use your imagination so that you can see. And you're like, well, what if I, I don't know how to imagine? What if I'm not visual? I want you to feel it. And people go, but what if I don't know how to feel it? What if I don't know how to see it? Then you're going to command, I can feel state the sensation the emotion that you're looking for because your brain is waiting to hear from you artist right so it's not going to operate unless you give it the peace and comfort you're you're fluidly going there and so then your mind will listen and it will take that command and it'll help you to follow through with it so a lot of the times we have difficulties with believing that we can accomplish things that we want to do or we want certain turn of events to happen. We're like, ah, it can't happen. No, that's terrible because if we stay in that mindset, we stay in that vibration or that behavior, whatever you want to call it, then it's going to be harder for you to go forward and follow through and set your goals because you've already put on the defeated mode. If you're under defeated mode, then that's where you'll stay. So let's get out of that defeated mode. We don't need any of that. We're going to take responsibility to create the reality we desire. We live on this amazing planet, planet Earth, a planet of manifestation. I love this planet, it's amazing. And so here, you are going to learn that you're gonna take your current thoughts and determine your future. It's important for you to ask yourself, what am I being called to create in my life? And if you don't know that yet, get there first. Start asking yourself, what do I feel aligned to? What do I feel drawn to? And also remember that it's going to require your time and dedication and consistency and follow through as in anything we do. But the nice thing is never too late to start and no experience is it required. An open of the heart, an open of the mind, that is what you need. And so that consistent daily action of open mind, open heart, can really make a big breakthrough in your lives. So maybe you're not sure what to create or where to start. How about this? Let's begin with a feeling of deep gratitude for all that's good in your life right now. I was channeling for some other of my lovely vibe drivers and Divine Source keeps telling me the message and it's for everyone. So I'm not calling anyone out. It's for all of us. This is why I'm giving these downloads. We're being told that in this current moment, we must choose to be happy right now. We should not wait on our happiness being contingent upon, well, if only this were happen, then I'd be happy. You can keep doing that as much as you want and you will not find true happiness. You must find true happiness in the moment, like right now. Yeah, even the moments where it's difficult and stressful, you gotta find a way, be like, well, this could have been this way, but this is working out. And it, it sounds very cliche, but it really, these are practices to help you to get to that mindset. 
So I want you to think and state out loud what you're most thankful for. Look for the good in your lives, my friends. It's so easy to look at the things that we're not accomplishing or that we haven't achieved or whatever we want, and then we get fixated on that, and then we get distracted, and that's such a stressful inner conflict to deal with. Uh, so I would suggest that when you start looking for the good in your life, you're going to start attracting more and more good experiences into your world. So here are some things I wanna share with you that you can practice. I want you to jot a list down of what you believe can't or won't happen, okay? So write down whatever it is that you believe you can't or won't happen and put it on that piece of paper. After you're done writing out what you are experiencing or feeling, I want you to take that piece of paper and with wisdom, in a safe space, Maybe you have a fire pit like I do. Get an old aluminum tin, things like that. You're going to take that piece of paper and you're gonna burn it, okay? So again, using caution, let's not burn anywhere where we can cause any flames. But I like to use a fire pit. I have a lid for that. Uh, I like to use the aluminums that you can just buy at any market and they have the lid. So I just put it in there, I burn it, and I put the lid on top, and I put a little bit of water, and then I go and I discard it at a trash can far away from my space. So by you burning it, it's symbolizing that you're burning away doubt, fears, and fire is a refining element. So it's that fire is to ignite within us the belief, the motivation, to access those possibilities. And then through our awareness, we are granted increasing wisdom. So again, draw a list down of whatever it is that has been struggling for you. And this is something that I would suggest that you all can practice saying. And I will also put it in my description on this channel as well. Well, on this particular one. Thank you universe for granting me the awareness, increasing wisdom, and creativity to see your wonders in new and unexpected ways. I gratefully and gracefully accept and acknowledge your aid. This is that moment that you would describe the situation to divine as you are at that place of clearing. You can light a candle when you're doing it if you want to, to continue to burn that as you say that command. Put it and put it on your candle and let it burn. When you guys already are done, like what I said in regards to the list and you burned it, throw it away. Don't keep it in your house. Put it in like in another little trash bag. So you wanna go ahead and jot down everything. Allow yourselves to be the writer, the creator of your reality. It's important for you to, when you're putting that through these words, you're spelling it out, you're putting out what you desire, and then, sit back and let it be because when we get all caught up like when is it going to happen where is it where'd it go i want it now uh that that impatience isn't going to serve you it's just a it's a place of being speaking releasing and then breathing and feeling much better <laughs> so please share with me what breakthroughs happened for you when you put this practice into motion. You can do this a couple times. Usually when I do something major or when Source is speaking to me, giving me these ideas and um, instructions on how to help myself to clear and to, to grow up a little bit more for me, um, I'm given exercises. And then when I was in channeling, they were like, you need to share this with the Vibe Tribe because this would be an excellent exercise for them as well. So please let me know how that worked for you. And thank you so much for joining Life Force Energy. Wishing you all love, insight, and healing. Bye, everyone.